the basketball project uh, was launched on the 28th of June uh, 2019. Uh, it was a six month long project where we had an exchange volunteer by the name of Amadou Alpha Ba. Amadou Alpha Ba came to Malawi in 2017 and he served as a volunteer for one year. Following that, he had seen that there were very rough conditions at the Zeleka basketball court. And this did not allow many of the youth to be able to play uh, games which would allow them to interact as youth and also look at how they can build themselves in terms of sports. Why I want to help those guys to have a new basketball court is, you know, to integrate in the community, uh, the best way for me is to play with them. So I used to come here to play basketball with them. Uh, the condition of the court was terrible, honestly. From that time, I said no. Before I leave this country, I need to do something with them. So, so we were working uh, since uh, March 2018. We wrote the proposal. We submitted to NBA through Cops Africa, of course, the organization I'm volunteering with. And uh, luckily, after three weeks or one month, we received uh, good news from NBA. The day I informed the guy uh, the bas bas basketball court will be completely built, they didn't believe it. But when I explained them everything, they were so happy. And uh, I know how they want to have this. Because even if the court was damaged, uh, they used to come. They used to come. It's, uh, it's, it will help us because before, we, we had the ground, it, it was uh, very used up, I can say that. When we have this court, it will be very easy, very easy for some of us to play basketball because some of us left because of, of the condition of the court. Now the court is good, we can play basketball and we can uh, make, a, uh, we can, we can make our, our dream come true. This is a dream come true. So we are very grateful to yeah, for this court because it was challenging to, to train them in the, the previous court. Yeah, it's going to motivate them a lot, the kids. Because uh, I've seen even many people, they want to join basketball because of the court. So when the facilities are okay, so is, everyone is attracted to the games. So it's like we stop them to do bad things, to go to do the bad behaviors. So we're going to benefit a lot from this court. Uh, when I'm just coming from school, Sometimes we'll be stressed up uh, of this life here, so I just play basketball and uh, I'm just stressed out. Actually, I'm very happy that we are, uh, they are supporting us by building this court. And I'll come off my friends so that we should learn together. And uh, I'll be very much practicing because it's, it's a sport that uh, I do really like since, uh, since I was young. So I really wish that one day I should be a best basketball. Je joue au basket parce que c'est un sport que je fais et je me détends avec la construction de notre terrain. Euh, J'avais déjà perdu quelque chose euh, vu l'état du terrain qu'on avait. Le... Mais comme nous, on construit notre terrain, alors je vois que je vais récupérer ce que j'avais perdu. Vu que nos coachs sont là pour nous, alors je vais récupérer ce que j'avais perdu encore. Even if sometimes they have some injuries, but they try their best. And what pushed me most to write, to write this proposal with the friends was uh, one day I came from the mosque and I saw them uh, fixing the court. I just asked them a question: uh, How do you find this uh, bag of cement? And they told me they contribute each other 200, 300 to get three bags of cement so that they can fix it. And I said, no, I think these guys, they are so committed and they really want to have a new court. So we did our best to have this court for them. And uh, we are so happy now it's building and we can see in the future or just in weeks, girls and boys playing as well as the kids to improve their skills in basketball. Par rapport à mes amis, Bon, je dirais que nous allons seulement évoluer parce que ça, nous disons encore merci pour le projet qui nous a financé et aussi nous allons évoluer. Thank to the OCP, uh, Co-Africa and, and NBA 
uh, really we are going to work hard so that we should be very, we should be, uh, we should be best uh, basketballer players. Who knows? One day we can have some of them to be players in NBA's. We have, for instance, Dior Lang, Dior Liol Deng, uh, who was a former refugee from uh, South Sudan. Now he's playing in NBA. Uh, the future plans, I think it's once we finish the court, we need to organize some activities. Luckily, we have one coach uh, who is based in Lilongwe, but uh, to have him to come here, we need some support. Now we've dream team, now it's uh, four, four or five years, eh? I'm not mistaken, no, four years now. Yeah, yeah. So first I was uh, voted coach of the day in 2015 with dream team. I funded a team from scratch and uh, we won 19 games out of 20. The challenge is, so because there are some players are here in the camp, some in town, like the transports. Uh, is that those challenges affecting us to not perform very well the, uh, the past two years. Because we did not have time to train together as a team. What will help uh, the youth at the uh, Temeca Basketball Court is integration. We as Core Africa are looking at how can we be a bridge to close the gap between the youth that are at Zaleka and the youth that are in Malawi through the love of basketball. And I'm very happy to say that through the Basketball Association of Malawi, we have been able to create leagues where there will be teams from Lilongwe, Blantyre, um, Zuzu, traveling to Zaleka to play with the youth at Zaleka Basketball Court. We are trying to push because in our model in Coast Africa, it's about sustainability. We want to do something for the community, but we need to engage them. We need to see them in the front. We don't want to do something uh, while they don't have any words to say. That's why we came up with this. If you see, like for us, we just gave the technical support. For them, they said they need to have this, and we realized this is a need for the community. That's why we came up with this proposal, and we are building this court. So we want to do this everywhere. As Core Africa Malawi, we want to uh, start growing in terms of reaching out to more youth in Malawi through the love of basketball. Now that we've established a good relationship with the National Basketball Association of Malawi in the United States, we want to work with the government, uh, the Ministry of Youth uh, and Sports and Culture to see where else can we partner together. We know in the refugee camp uh, there are people, before, they, before being refugee, there was someone they were human beings, they are still human beings and they are capable, they are able to do many things. So we said apart from this status, which is refugees, we will give them the hand to improve their skills in any how. There are some of them who are good in uh, play, uh, football, netball and basketball. So, and maybe people they are asking me the reason why I chose basketball. Okay, I like basketball, I like playing basketball, but uh, Apart from that, I came up with the uh, mindset of community development to develop the community and the community, they need to have the new basketball court. That's why we came up with this for them and hopefully, and I hope and I believe they will take it seriously and they will take it sustainable. We need one day to have some of them to be playing in NBA and so on. My last word is just those who are watching this video to believe in refugees. Being a refugee, it doesn't mean you are not able to do things. You are not able to change the community. You are not able to, to do uh, impact. So those refugees, they need our support. They need help and they need someone to push them, to believe in themselves and to do better and much better than us. What we say in my local language is which means in peace, we can have everything. So since they are in peaceful country, we can do more with them. My last word is just to thank Core Africa and OCP to give me this chance to volunteer here in Malawi. It means they believe in uh, youth in Africa to give support to their fellow Africans here in Africa. So Core Africa, it is African for Africans. And firstly, I'd like to thank uh, the Ministry of Youth, uh, Culture and their support in allowing us to come up with this project proposal. We would also like to thank the ministry uh, that manages all the immigration uh, 
uh, within the country because it is through them we were allowed to be given permission uh, to be able to build the basketball court. We would also like to thank JRS. Uh, JRS is a partner who came in and developed the project proposal with uh, Alpha uh, Bar. And lastly, I'd like to also thank the NBA, uh, OCP, who have been the major sponsors in allowing this project to take place.